Hello, kids! I'm Captain AHS. Have you ever wondered what makes up the ground beneath your feet, the water you drink, or the rocks you see around you? Today, we're going to explore the fascinating world of earth materials, water, rocks, and soil. Look! I found a shiny pebble! It's so smooth and colorful! That's so cool! I wonder where it came from! Do you think it's treasure? Treasure, huh? Well, maybe it is, in a way. That pebble is part of something amazing, Earth Materials! Earth Materials? What's that, Mama? Let me tell you! Water is one of the most important earth materials. It's everywhere, rivers, lakes, oceans, and even underground. But mama, it's just water. What's so special about it? Let me show you. Imagine this small pool is a lake. When the sun shines on it, the water warms up and turns into steam. That's called evaporation. Like when mama boils water for tea? Exactly! Then the steam rises into the sky, cools down, and turns into clouds. That's condensation! And then it rains! That's right, precipitation! This cycle keeps water moving around the earth, making it super important for life. Hey kids, let's talk about rocks. They might seem boring, but rocks tell stories about the Earth. Stories? Like what? There are three types of rocks. Some, like granite, form from hot, melted magma cooling down. These are igneous rocks. Some rocks form when tiny pieces of sand, mud, or shells pile up over time and get squished together. They are called sedimentary rocks. What about the last type? Metamorphic rocks are rocks that change under heat and pressure like marble. Saro, now let's discuss about soil. Soil might look plain, but it's full of life. It's made of tiny rock pieces, organic matter, water, and air. What's organic matter? It's bits of plants and animals that break down and make the soil rich with nutrients. That's what helps plants grow. There are three layers of soil. The top layer, topsoil, is the richest. Below that is subsoil, and at the bottom is bedrock. So kids, did you see how it all connects? Rocks break down into soil, soil holds water, and water helps plants grow. Together, they create the perfect balance for life on Earth. So water, rocks, and soil are like a team. A team that helps us and all the animals and plants live. Exactly, my little explorers. And that's why Earth materials are so amazing. Now it's the time for quiz. Are you ready for a fun quiz to test what you've learned about water, rocks, and soil? Let's see if you've got what it takes. It's quiz time! What happens when water turns into steam? Is it A. Condensation B. Evaporation C. Precipitation The correct answer is B. Evaporation When water heats up, it changes into steam or vapor and rises into the air. What type of rock forms from cooled magma? Is it A. Sedimentary B. Metamorphic C. Igneous
The answer is C. Igneous. When magma cools and hardens, it forms igneous rocks like granite and basalt. What is the richest layer of soil called? Is it A. Subsoil B. Bedrock C. Topsoil The correct answer is C. Topsoil This layer is full of nutrients that help plants grow. Which earth material helps plants grow by holding water? Is it A. Rocks B. Soil C. Air The answer is B. Soil Soil not only holds water but also provides nutrients that plants need to grow. What is organic matter and soil made of? Is it A. Bits of rocks B. Pieces of plants and animals C. Water and air The correct answer is B. Pieces of plants and animals Organic matter comes from decomposed plants and animals, making the soil fertile and full of life. Have you ever wondered about the different types of water bodies on our planet, like oceans, rivers, and lakes? Next time, we'll dive into the fascinating world of bodies of water. Don't miss it! Don't miss out on more free, interactive lessons. Hit subscribe and join us on the journey to education without boundaries. Thank you.